I'd like to welcome Young Jock to Sidewalks Entertainment. Hi, thank you so much for joining us today. Hey, how you doing? Now, before we talk about VH1's family reunion, Love and Hip Hop, let's talk a little bit about some of your earlier work. Yeah, what at what age did you find your talent in rapping? My talent in rapping, uh, probably like eight, nine, actually like ten. Oh my goodness! About ten. I was in the fifth grade. Yeah. What, yeah, what, what music artists were you listening to that got you into rapping? At the time when I started rapping, though, it was Dana Dane. So it's kind of way oh, back. Wow. It was Dana Dane. Dana Dane. And it's so funny because you don't hear a lot of uh, Atlanta cats or Southern cats really even speak on Dana Dane. Uh, but I loved him, man. I loved his message. I love how he put his stories together. It was just, he, he definitely inspired me to be a rapper. Nice. So how did you get your stage name, Young Jock? Mm, so my mom named me Jock off of the show, uh, what was it, Dallas? Uh, uh, it was Dallas or Dynasty. And the dude was named Jock Ewing. And she was just like, you know what? I'm going to name my son after this man because my son will be a B, you know. Well, I ain't quite a B, you know, but I done made a lot of M's. And uh, a lady by the name of Carolyn Miller, rest her soul, man, she was just like, boy, What's your name? I said, Jock. So she was like, nah, you young, Jock. You young. You need to let these people know you young. Embrace your youthful, youth, your youth, your youthfulness. I was like, oh, what do you want to call myself that? But then when I mentioned it to people, like, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Nice. Then they know that was my life. All right. Now, VH1's family reunion, Love and Hip Hop. Now, cast members from all four Love and Hip Hop cities come to get, came together for this series. What were your thoughts when they first pitched this reunion to you? Um, I was definitely game. I was I was like, oh, okay, this ought to be all right. Um, then I just started realizing like, yo, this is love hip hop. I, I hope it's not no shade when I go out here. I don't know who I'm gonna be dealing with or nothing. And I remember, you know, I just put up a post where I posted, a, it was a meme they put together with uh, a picture of Omarion and, uh, not Raz, but uh, Fizz standing there together. Then mm -hmm. another picture, it's Fizz and April. So up under that picture, it was G Herbo and Moneybag. And to the side, it was uh, Moneybag and Ari, which were, they, these are people who were friends or may have known one another, acquaintances, and ended up with the other's girl. So when I put it out, it caused a riff. It caused a riff. I was just reposting. I didn't make it. I was just reposting. So here I am in LA, here I am <laughs> in Arizona, about to film this Love and Hip Hop family reunion special, and Fizz pulls up, and he's looking right at me. I'm like, you know what? Get yourself prepared. I planted my feet, and I stood in the position. When he walked up, he planted his feet, he looked at me, and you have to continue to watch the rest to find out. <gasps> oh I, my I, gosh, I, you totally had me. <laughs> Well, I'm very much looking forward to it. Yeah, I got her. Well, unfortunately, we are out of time. But again, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today. No problem. Thank <laughs> you very much. Thank you for doing this. You take care. Bye. Yep, you too. For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit SidewalksTV.com.